And we are now live. Hello. Welcome, everyone, to the monthly Seamus Ennis Arts Center singing session. Um, as I mentioned previously, our usual host, the wonderful McDara Yates, um, serving a 30 day sentence. He was caught littering in the Phoenix Park just last night. And uh, I've been called in to. Um, serve in his absence. So you're all most welcome. And um, if you haven't yet introduced yourself in the chat, please let us know where you're calling in from today. And we have um, a wonderful guest this evening, um, Mr. Stuart Carolyn, uh, who will be singing us two sets of songs later on in the night. So we're all very much looking forward to hearing Stuart singing. And um, Looks like people are still joining the call. You're all most welcome here. And um, let's, we have plenty of singers to get through, so I think we should just kick it off. Um, I am going to try to message you privately prior to asking you to sing to give you a little bit of a warning so you're not totally caught off guard. Um, and uh, just due to the time constraints, we probably won't be able to get to every single one of you. So um, apologies in advance for that, but I will be trying to move as swiftly as possible to make sure that we can get uh, as many of you to sing as possible. And um, there will be a five minute break as well. Give you a chance to stretch your legs, do whatever you need to do. So um, I will ask um, a couple people to sing first and then I'll start trying to send some private messages um, to line you up. So I hope you can all hear me okay. Yeah, is it okay? Yeah, okay, great, thanks everybody. I was having some internet issues earlier today. So I would like to ask um, Marianne, if you would kick us off tonight um, with a song and then we'll have um, Seamus Shields, following and then Gavin Byrne. So we'll start off with those three. And uh, Marianne, I'm gonna ask to unmute you. You have to accept my unmuting. And um, let's see, ask to unmute. Let's see, I'm asking to unmute you, Marianne. Is it is it not showing up as a, host would like to unmute you and accept the unmuting. There you are. I can't hear you though. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't hear you. Maybe I'll, I'll come back to you just to, to get things kicking. Uh, sorry about that, Marianne, I'm gonna mute you again. And let's just jump over to, to Seamus here, um, who has a, a pub in the background. I'm gonna ask to unmute you and um, please kick us off uh, and sing us a song in your own time. So you have to accept my, there you are. It's worked finally. That's great. Welcome. Thank, How are thanks, you? Michael. I'm, I'm grand. Thanks. Do you know any songs? I have a song. Yeah. Uh, okay. Stuart, Stuart probably recognizes the pub behind me. <laughs> hmm. um, it's it's in, Car in, Carberry's in, pub in Drogheda. Anyway, so this is, this is a newish kind of a song that I've only been singing for a, a couple of weeks, but we'll give it a lash. I so just get the note. I remember well on November twelfth, beneath a waning crescent moon, when I saw a maid by a window shade, as I looked in through the gloom. In the dim half-light I heard her sigh 
while she was working at the loom. Making coarse sackcloth, she mourned the loss of her fallen young dragoon. My Johnny dear was so sincere, and my Johnny he was warm. How my fond heart swelled when I first beheld him all in his uniform. In his fine array, mounted on his bay, there was no sight could compare. With his bearing proud as he rode out, he was the fairest man, I swear. Before Johnny left me, sad and bereft, we met in a loving tryst. And when Johnny pledged that one day we'd wed, I never knew such bliss. Under a starry sky we both did lie, full of joy and full of hope. Then as Johnny slept, my glad heart leapt for my handsome soldier boy. Now as he rode off with colours raised aloft, the streets all rang with cheers. For the gallantry of that company, but my eyes shed briny tears. And as they marched away, I heard the general say, the war would be over soon. And when my love came home to the church we'd go, and I'd wed my young dragoon. But now Johnny lies beneath angry skies on some far-off foreign shore. To cold death consigned, though still in his prime, it grieves my heart full sore. Lost and forlorn, I am left to mourn a young life that is no more. While generals live to fret over honour's debts, Johnny stretched in dust and gore. Now my love is dead, I am in daily dread, this grief will haunt me evermore. For my Johnny's sake, my poor heart would break, I am empty to my core. Except for one, maybe a son, the fruit of our love sublime. And when this child I'll bear, I will proudly declare his father's name without repine. And as my young son grows, I'll ensure he knows his brave father's temperament. And how dignified he lived and died, serving with his regiment. But while my heart still beats, I will my son entreat to swear on his father's tomb, that when he comes of age, he will ne'er engage, nor enlist with the dragoons. That when he comes of age, 
he will never engage nor enlist with the dragoons that's it lovely stuff thank you Seamus thank you it for was kicking a, a, us wee off bit tonight. A, a wee bit all over the place but anyway we got there in the end <laughs> well we appreciate you kicking us off thank you so thank much you. I'm going to go back to Marianne it seems that maybe the microphone situation has been uh, fixed so I'm going to ask to unmute you Marianne you have to accept my unmuting hello Ah, unfortunately I still can't hear you so um, then I'm going to go over to Gavin then um, for our next song. So Gavin, sitting by the hearth, I'm going to ask to unmute you. You have to accept my unmuting. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Ah, uh, good. <clears throat> that was a great start from Seamus. Yeah. I'll try a... Know... Yeah, sing us a song, please. Yeah, I'll try a Jordy Hanna song uh, on Yonder Hill. Beautiful. On yonder hill there sits a hair full of worry, grief and care, and o'er her lodgings it was bare, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. And o'er her lodgings it was bare, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. Now there came a huntsman passing by, and on this poor hair he cast his eye. And o'er the bogs hallooed his dogs, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. And o'er the bogs hallooed his dogs, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. And now she's gone from hill to hill, all for the best dog to try his skill, and kill the poor hare that never done ill, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. And kill the poor hare that never done ill, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. And now she's turned and turned again, merrily as she trips the plain. And may she live to run again, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. And may, <coughs> may she live to run again, singing ho, brave boys, hi ho. Ginny. Brilliant stuff, Gavin. Thank you so much. We've had some more singers join us. You're almost welcome. Um, I'm not Mcdara Yates. Um, as I mentioned previously, he, uh, he's been um, detained for littering in the Phoenix Park for a whole month, and he, I was brought in at the last second to help. So please send Dara your best as he's serving time. Um, so I... Um, didn't get a chance to send messages to ask someone to sing next. So I apologize that I'm going to spring this on you, but I'm wondering, Elena Duff, if, if you'd give us a song. Um, he was just mentioning some dogs and I saw a dog in your frame. So maybe we could uh, pick it up from there. So I'm going to ask to unmute you, Elena. And you have to accept my unmuting. Okay, let me try one more time. I'm going to ask to unmute. 
then you have to click accept unmuting. No? Okay. Okay, here yes. we are. Can you hear me? Yes. It Hello, how are you? I'm grand. Um, I'm going to sing, uh, <clears throat> I don't know very many traditional songs, so I'm going to sing the, uh, the Fairy Boy. Terrific, please. A mother came when stars were paling, wailing round a lonely spring. Thus she cried while tears were Lovely stuff. Thank you, Elena. Good, good, good to meet you. And good, and good to see your dog too. Um, excellent. So I've asked Bernie Dermody to sing next. Uh, Bernie, I'm going to ask to unmute you. I have to accept my unmuting. Okay. Hello. How are you? Hi, Michael. Very good. Thank you. Great. Terrific. Do you have, do you have a song you'd like yeah. to sing? 
Uh, well, I'll do it. Um, I'll try a John Tony song. It's Remember to Lock. You may hear them speak about Mozambique and of Africa's famine tide, of how drought and greed, of which few take heed, have sapped a continent's pride. And while millions cry, ten thousands die, and our governments take no stand. But a tale I'll tell of a similar hell that happened in our own land. Early spring in Black 47, the country was on the rack. Day and night, relentless blight had consumed the tatty crop. And why cattle and grain were exported to Spain and food lay piled in stores. In Mayo, south and round about, the people they perished in scores. Crowds were gathered in Lewisburg, hoping for some relief. Twas said that the poor law guardians could end their piteous grief. These gentlemen fine were meeting to dine in Delphi ten, ten miles away. Children, women, and men, 600 strong, set out on that fateful day. Crossing the Glankeen in full flood, some fell by the riverside. And going along the mountain road, still more collapsed and died. Exhausted and weak, scarcely able to speak, they thronged into Delphi town and waited in mass for food or a pass to enter the workhouse grounds. But after his meal of wine and veal, a guardian addressed them all. There was no food here, and he greatly feared no room within workhouse walls. They would have to go, hey, rain or snow, and to their homes walk back. Dismayed and afraid, despair in their hearts, they set out upon the track. Like harvest sheaves or rotten leaves, they fell dying along the road. As dark grew in and the sun it snow it came down, the night it was bitter cold. Going along the cliff, the wind it blew stiff, driving on the blinding sleet. Hundreds were swept into Dulog's debts, a horror beyond belief. Next day, relieving officers had a terrible sight in store, with bodies strewn along the route and littering Dulog's shore. Whole families dead. For want of being fed, and in justice a crying shame. A forgotten sign to our own time, when we witnessed the very same. Far from the Sudan, across African lands, famine victims, they waited in need. And a country like ours that knows not this curse 
must surely take a lead. Remember that walk, oh remember to love. Let our banners be on first. Against selfish gain and indifference to pain, but for justice throughout our world. Shine. Oh, just lovely. It's yeah. always so great to hear you sing on these sessions, Bernie. Thank, Thank you, you for that Thank powerful you. song. Great to hear you. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm going to mute you. You might hear a motorcycle in the background. Um, it's a sunny day here in Washington State in the U.S., and there's people are out on their motorcycles right outside my window. Um, so I have asked, although I don't know if she saw the message, um, Mary Casey, if she'd sing next. It looks like you might be knitting on your couch, maybe. Um, but Mary, I'm going to ask to unmute you, and you have to try unmuting. Um, and if you'd give us a song, we'd love that. Hi, <laughs> yeah, you, you just have to press accept the unmuting. Oh my god, you sprung that on me. I don't sing. I listened into this concert tonight. Oh, you're um, you're here to listen. I don't have traditional songs. Can I sing another song? You're you're most welcome to sing another song. We're we're getting thumbs up and head nods. Why? Nobody wants it. <coughs> Please sing us a song. Wait a minute now. That was sprung on me now. <laughs> I'm um, so sorry. I tried to send you a message in the chat asking. Oh, um, right. I never saw it. In your own time. I love to send up. <coughs> Way, way down in the county, Kerry, in a place they call Tralee. Oh, that's hopeless. Way down in the county, Kerry, in a place they call Tralee. A fine old couple, they lived there, named Kate and Pat McGee. They were going to hold a party for their golden jubilee. <laughs> and Kate said she to Pat McGee, will you listen a while to me? Uh, put on your old grey breeches and your coat of emerald green. Take off that hat, me darling, Pat, and put on your old cabin. For today's our golden wedding, and I want you all to know just how we looked when we were wed 50 years ago. Ah, it is well do I remember when we danced in the village green. You held me in your arms, dear Pat, and you called me your Colleen. Your hair was like a raven's wing, oh, but now it's turning gray. I come over here, oh sweetheart dear, and here's what I have to say. Ah, put on your old grey breeches and your coat of emerald green. Take off that hat, me darling Pat, and put on your old cabin. For today's our golden wedding, and I have you all to know just how we looked when we were wed 50 years ago. Ah, tis well do I remember when I tell in that little chapel yonder there where we stood side by side. Of good friends we had many, and of troubles we had few. I come over here, oh sweetheart dear, and here's what I'll say to you. Ah, uh, put on your old grey breeches and your coat of emerald green. Take off that hat, me darling Pat, and put on your old carbine. For today's our golden wedding, and I have you all to know just how we looked when we were wed 50 years ago. Just how we looked when we were wed 50 years ago. Sorry about that. Oh, that was, 
So, terrific. Thank you, Mary. I, I apologize for putting you on the spot, but that was great. You, I can only imagine how great you'd be if, if you'd had notice, but without any notice, you were terrific. Thank you. What a great, <laughs> Thanks, great song. Thank you. Thank you. So I've asked Lorraine okay. to sing next. Lorraine, I'm going to ask to unmute you. You just have to accept my unmuted. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, how are you all? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thanks so much. This session has been an absolute godsend and I nearly don't want to Oh, it looks like you got un unmuted. We're muted there. I'm going to ask to unmute you once more. You heard my culture didn't give an accent and muted me again. <laughs> no, no. Go on, go on. Uh, no, thanks so much. This has been a godsend. And this concert, I nearly don't want lockdown to ever end because I don't want this to ever end. It's brilliant. So thank you so much, everybody, for all your songs. And it's just been brilliant. So... No, I apologize. And also, Gavin Byrne, every time you move your head, I keep thinking you're going to impale yourself on that spike behind you. <laughs> <laughs> my heart's in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so this Do you know song any is, songs that are in? This song is a very old song, but um, there's so many different versions of it. And it's about a guy, it's really from the seventh century, and it's about, as we would say here, he was a bit of a boy. And he um, met the girl and um, made her all kinds of promises and left her high and dry, apparently pregnant and all the rest. And uh, away he went. So it's uh, a lovely, lovely song. <laughs> but uh, so. Please. My dawn look to sail on the water. Take me with you to be your partner. I started it too, too high, sorry. I'm dosed with the cold as well, sorry. <clears throat> start again. My dawn look, she sailed the water. Take me with you to be your partner. At fair or market. You'll be well looked after. You can sleep with the wee king's daughter. First time I saw you, it was a Sunday evening. It was at the Easter as I was kneeling. It was on Christ's passion that I was reading. But on my mind, but my mind was on you my own heart bleeding oh my dawn look you'll not find me lazy not like some high-born expensive lady i'll do your milking and i'll nurse your baby and if you are set upon i'll back you bravely for you said you would meet me, but you were lying behind the sheepfold as the day he was dying. I whistled first, then I started hailing. And all that I heard was the young lambs wailing. You said that you'd give me, but you talk lightly. Fish skin gloves that would fit me tightly. Bird skin shoes when I go out walking, a silken dress that would set Ireland talking. My mother, she said we should not be meeting, that I should pass by and not give you greeting. It was a good time, surely she chose for cheating, with the stable bear and the horse retreating. Black as the slow as the heart inside me. Black as the coal with the grief that drives me. Black as the bootprint on shining hallways. It was you that blackened it forever and always. For you took what's before me and what's behind me. 
took you down west when you would not mind me. Sun, moon, and stars from me you have taken. Christ, likewise, if I'm not mistaken. My dawn awoke when you sail o'er the water. Shanae, sorry about that. It was a bit nervous. <laughs> no, it was lovely. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Thanks for singing for us. So I'm going to hopefully third time's the charm here with, with Marianne. Uh, I'm going to ask to unmute you and let's see if you accept my unmuted this time. Not hear you, though you are indeed unmuted. Um, I uh, looks like unfortunately we won't then. Um, but I'll try again, Marianne. My my apologies there. Um, send a message to uh, to Mick. Uh, I don't know if he saw it or not, but um, Mick seems always game for a song on these. Um, let me see if I can find you, Mick, to unmute. You there, you're gonna to ask to unmute you. You have to accept the unmuting. Yeah, hello, thanks, Michael. Hey, do, do you want to sing something? Yeah, yeah, I did reply. I don't know if you must have missed. Oh, it. sorry, I'm I did anyway. But... <laughs> yeah, right, I'll give it a last. Sing us a song. Yeah, yeah. okie dokie. <clears throat> Attention, pay both the young and old to these few lines that I'll unfold. It's the deeds of great Napoleon I'm going to relate. He was as valiant a Corsican as ever stood on Europe's land. I'm inclined to sing his praises, so ennobled was his heart. For in every battle manfully he strove to gain the victory. To all the world a terror was Napoleon a bone apart. When in Europe he held sway, brave Bonaparte was led astray, and in the Battle of Waterloo he was bought with English gold. We long may recollect the day when Grouchy did the French betray, and brave Napoleon Bonaparte upon the ground was sold. That fatal June at Waterloo, it caused Napoleon for to rue. When he saw the tricks of Blucher, it struck terror to his heart. But it was there upon that fatal day, he was forced to yield or run away. Like a bullock sold in Smithfield, was Napoleon a bone apart. There in the field he valiant stood, and said, While I have life and blood, I will not die a coward, I will fight and play my part. I have always proved myself a man, but now I can no longer stand. My glass is fairly run, cried Napoleon Bonaparte. Marie Louisa for him wept, and day or night she seldom slept, for she could get no rest to soothe her aching heart. Where is my emperor? she cried, cursed be the gold that did him bribe. False grout she has betrayed, brave Napoleon Bonaparte. And in the capital of France they did erect a monument, all for to contain the ashes of his heart. Now every Frenchman that passes by respectfully a tribute pays to the immortal remembrance of Napoleon Bonaparte. There we go. <laughs> Mighty stuff, Nick. Thank you for that. That was great. <clears throat> Good to hear you. Um, 
And I've asked Rebecca if she'd sing next. Ask to unmute you, Rebecca. Just unmuting. Little option that just says, um, accept the host. I think that's right now. Can you hear me now? Brilliant. Okay. Um, so this is Shoals of Herring. Where we were firing on the
Okay, hello. My apologies, something happened to my internet there. Um, but am I, am I back? Can, can you hear me? Jeez, the worst day to have internet troubles when you have to host a Zoom call. Um, so I'm on a different connection, so I think I should be fine. Hopefully that didn't stall you too much. Thank you for singing, Re Rebecca. And um, I've asked Ken and Peter Webb to sing next. Um, I don't know if you saw my message um, under the moniker of musical traditions. Uh, yeah. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Oh, how are you? Here, Good yeah. to see you. Uh, <laughs> we sing one each, is that okay? Well, sure. I, I We're always so lucky to hear you sing. Please, go on. Uh, right. Oh, uh, I've just, just forgotten. I, I said I was going to go first. Just hang on. I'm gonna, I hope you, uh, uh, the Irish there, won't be uh, too uh, worried about this one. I'm going to sing a short song about cricket. It's the cricket season. <laughs> it's the cricket season's just started. We can't actually go, but there's plenty of it on the telly. Um, now, uh, yeah, before I sing the song, I'm going to kind of preface it with something written by James Joyce, who was a great lover of cricket, and his work is sprinkled with uh, references to the game, especially in Finnegan's Wake, uh, which is almost impossible to read, of course, but there is references to cricket mm -hmm. in that. But this is from a um, portrait of the artist as a young man. It's just a short, short bit from it. And it, invo it evokes the sounds of cricket perfectly. <clears throat> cricket was coming. And all over the playgrounds, they were playing rounders and bowling twisters and lobs. And from here and from there came the sounds of the cricket bats through the soft grey air. They said, pick, pack, pock, puck. Little drops of water in a fountain slowly falling in the brimming bowl. Sunshine, sunshine, a happy day. Off to the cricket bat, I'm away. Somebody else can work for me. I'm the happy absentee. If Gold Benkin should offer me a thousand pounds to stay away from that cricket ground, I reckon that money would be really hard earned. But until he does, I'm unconcerned. Sunshine, sunshine, a happy day. Off to the cricket match, I'm away. Somebody else can work for me. I'm the happy absentee. Will Bolt. <coughs> Will Bolt seems players that they meant to win. But ball and feel as if they meant to win. Or will play be so tedious they, you can hardly stick it. You never can tell when you go to watch cricket. Sunshine, sunshine, a happy day. Off to the cricket match, I'm away. Somebody else can work for me. I'm a happy absentee. Now it's past seven o'clock and play must stop. Let's hope that Lancashire's well on top. No time wasted and a win in sight. Up with the red rose, down with the white. Sunshine, sunshine, a happy day. Off to the cricket match, I'm away. Somebody else can work for me. I'm the happy absentee. Just one short uh, story before Peter comes on to sing. I was singing that song one day in a pub session, and the guy I was sitting next to nudged me in the shoulder. He said, my dad wrote that. It was written by a guy called Leslie Howarth, who I think was from Bolton in Lancashire. There so, you go. Okay, there so you there you go. There you go. See, see, it's not a cricket song. This is a perennial song. It's not quite May next, but it will do. <clears throat> As I rolled out one morning, it being in the merry month of May, me and my two white beagles expecting there's some game to see. I spied no one but Mary. She appeared to me like some virgin queen. 
she being at her daily labour, a wreathing of her rushes green. She says, young man, be easy. Go on your way and let me be. Do not toss or spoil my rushes. Great labour they have been to me. If I toss or spoil them carelessly, a far greener bunch I'll reap for you. So sit you down beside me And some pretty stories I'll tell to you She says, it's hard to refuse you Although you might lead me astray So I'll sit down beside you Till the morning dew is fast away. As my love and I sat courting, it being beneath yon green laurel tree, the small birds sang harmoniously, changing their notes from tree to tree. The larks sang loud in chorus, whilst I embraced my virgin queen. My Mary, true love Mary, and a bonny bunch of rushes green. Since my love and I have got married, Great riches she has gained by me. She has servants to attend her, to keep her from all slavery. You might run the world on over, such a beauty there might never be seen. As Mary, true love Mary, and her bonny bunch of rushes green. You might roam the world on over, such a beauty there might never be seen. As Mary, my love Mary, and a bonny bunch of rushes green. Well done, Peter. <laughs> she may have to say so. <laughs> right. Uh, and we're right looking forward to listening to Stuart Carroll, Anna, we haven't seen for ages. He's a, he's a, okay, he's a, now. a lovely singer. Okay. Well, thank you both, Ken and Peter. Always lovely yeah, to hear you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. All right. Yep. So um, I have asked... Gemma, if you'd sing for us next, um, I'm going to ask to unmute you, Gemma. And thanks, everybody, for the sweet comments in the chats. It's always lovely to see singers supporting one another. And we'll have Gemma. And then um, when you're on, when you're ready, I think you're unmuted. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, it, it's a little faint, but I, I know that's, you. That's just because I talk quiet, but. But I don't sing quiet, so that's. <laughs> I think they were called this. Great. Well, please. Um, how how are you? I'm all right. A bit a bit sleepy today, but that's um that's just because I wake up far too early and then burn myself out. <laughs> right. Very good. Um, very good. Where will we go? I'll sing this one. I haven't sung this for ages, and and this will probably be the first time I've ever sung this song not in a pub full of people who join in the chorus. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, right. please go on. Tis of a gentle young maiden fair Was walking out for to take the air She met a sailor all on her way So I paid attention 
So I paid attention to hear what they did say. He said, now lady, why roam alone? The night is come and the day is done. She said, and tears from her eyes did fall. Tis a dark-eyed sailor, oh me dark-eyed sailor, as prove it my downfall. For it's seven long years since he left this land. We took the gold ring from off my hand. He broke the token in half with me. Now the others rolling. Now the others rolling at the bottom of the sea. He said, Now, lady, come dry your eyes, for another sailor as true you find. Love turns aside and soon cold does grow like a winter's morning like a winter's morning when the ground's covered with snow his words did phoebe's fond heart aflame she said on me you will play no game she drew a dagger and then did cry for me dark-eyed sailor oh me dark-eyed sailor i made a live and die for his cold black eyes and his curly hair his silver tongue did my heart ensnare gently was not a wretch like you to advise a maiden to advise a maiden to slight the jacket blue oh sorry i just saw myself big there's another verse, but I just got put off by my big face looking at me. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> oh no, lost it now. <laughs> Never mind. But but it, but they kind of like, yeah, they knew each other and she just didn't recognise him and then they get married and that's the end. <laughs> you, sh you, sh you sure you don't want to give us those last couple of verses? <laughs> They've just totally gone now. They're gone from your mind then. Yeah, okay, it's, it's well, past my bedtime after nine o'clock. Okay, so. well, it, it's great to hear you, Gemma. <laughs> I, I We appreciate you singing. And um, great, so I'm going to mute you then. Uh, and um, so we'll have one more singer before our special guest, Stuart Carolyn, tonight. Um, so I've asked um, Ms. Rita Gallagher if she would sing, a, sing for us. Um, if she'd be so kind and i'm just going to unmute you rita and uh in your own time if you'd be so kind as to give us a song we'd, we'd just be honored yeah thanks michael thank you very much i'm going to sing a little short song it's called um the wee weaver i would have heard 
it from both Dolores Kane and from Paddy Tony. <clears throat> I am a wee weaver confined to my loom. My love, she is fairer than the red rose in bloom. She is loved by My heart's in the bosom of lovely Mary. As Willie and Mary roam by young shady bower, where Willie and Mary spent many a happy hour, where the thrush and the blackbird do consort in core, sing the praises. As Willie and Mary rove by yon riverside, said Willie to Mary, Will you be my bride? This Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank, Thank you, you so much for singing for us, Rita. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well up in Dubai. Thank you very, very much. Good. Very good. Um, so, folks, it's come to that time to hear our special guest tonight on this um, Seamus Ennis Arts Center Zoom singing session. Our guest tonight is Mr. Stuart Carolyn. Um, he is a traditional singer from County Lao, the great grandson and grandson of Patrick Usher Sr. and Mary Ann Carolyn, who are both renowned performers of ballads and songs in the style and tradition of County Louth. And Stuart is following in the footsteps of both, and he's gained a solid reputation in his own right. And to date, Stuart has performed at such established singing festivals as the Flaakjol Naharan, the Drogheda Singers Gathering, and the Inishon Folk and Song and Ballad Seminar. Um, Let's give a very warm Seamus Ennis Arts Center welcome to Mr. Stuart Carolyn, who's coming to us live from a pub that he can maybe tell us about. And he may be the envy of all of us as he has fresh pints being poured for him. So Stuart, I'm gonna ask to unmute you and you have to accept my unmuting. Hello. Thanks, Michael. Hello there. How, how goes it? Hello everybody. It's lovely, lovely to see so many familiar faces and some, some, some great friends that we've made down through the years. Um, yeah, well, myself and dad are here uh, in the morning star and Tully Allen. We'll send you all, we'll send you all mm. on the postcode. Um, okay. Well, the floor uh, is yours, Stuart. I'm, I'm going to hop off. It's all you. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. Um, <clears throat> well, Michael has, has introduced me. I thank him for that. Um, and he has introduced who, who my grandmother was and who my great grandfather was and 
my father's here beside me. He, he's he's part of the, the the generation as well. Um, I I sang a concert up in Dublin one time and and sang the whole first half and got to the halfway point and we were all taking a little break and some woman came over and said to me who's your grandmother you were talking about your grandmother but I don't know who she is so I had forgotten to say who my grandmother was so my grandmother was Mary Ann Garland and I'm going to start by doing um, three or four of, of the family songs <clears throat> by the way Michael I, I meant to say you should never put anybody on after Riha Gallagher that's just not fair there should be a commercial break in between <laughs> top run right. on First song I'm going to do is the song called The Bold Hardy. <clears throat> My name is Bold Hardy from the North Country. Where does a stream upon every stream? Landlady, be quicker and bring us more liquor. And fill us a picture that's strong with cream. If I had your Molly so pleasant and jolly, although it's a folly to ask you at all. For if I had a glass and a mile to the bottom, I drink to you, Molly, beside me doll, with me fall the doll da, fall the doll da, fall the doll da, fall the doll da, fall the doll da. I had a new pair of brogues I brought home from the market. I want an excuse to get into the town. So I told me own mother, the seams they were ripped, and I needed some nails for to rivet them around. She clothed me on with a great British shaven. She taught her the man for it would be her own. Saying if you're to go to town, you may take a full nagging, but beware not to bring any of your fancy bulls home. But me fall the dull da, fall the dull da, fall the dull da, fall the dull da. Dull da. While crossing the hills of me brave and a skeleton, I went into a nail house for to take a dram. Where I saw two tinkers in the light and a saucepan, although they were arguing about the tin can. One after me then made a blow at the other. He cried, you old villain, I will take your life. For your husband's a licking and won't hold the water. Since ever bold I heard he spoke to your wife with me. Fall the dull da. Now when I got home, the door it was bolted. I wrapped up me mother for to let me in. I begun of the place was the words that she mentioned. For inside this door, you will not venture in. You may go away to wherever you came from, for to keep you out, now I'm sure it's no sin. Ah, says I, my gay woman, you may hold your temper, for I can get lodging with no meddling. Let me fall the dull da, fall the dull da, fall the dull da, fall the dull da. Let me fall the dull da, fall the dull da, fall the dull da, 
par les femmes dans les... Okay. Hope that was okay. <clears throat> Shake the nerves out. Marianne's giving me the thumbs up. Thanks, Marianne. Okay, second song I'm going to do um, is one of only two songs that my granny actually taught me herself. Um, the rest of her songs that I sing, I um, I learned them from listening to recordings of her. Uh, but the two, two songs she taught me herself uh, was the first one she taught me was uh, a song called Bob Ridley. And the second song she taught me was this song called The Maid of Ballymore. I hope I get through it. <clears throat> oh, you lads and lads, this all round, you hear unto my song. And if you pay attention, I want to lay along. It's of a pretty fair maiden I do adore. And I'd style her a phoenix on the maid of Ballymore. Well, the first time I saw this maid to tell you the truth, I've been young and merry in the bloom of my youth. Her beauty enticed me and wounded me so that I dreamt all night on the maid of Ballymore. To was early one morning, just at the break of day, it been for recreation I happened to stray And as I was passing a pouring stream I was suddenly oppressed By the same sweet air as them Good morning, my pretty maid, my joy and heart's delight. And since you have enticed me by your beauty bright, and if you won't release me, and that speed only why i'm sure a sudden that love will be made a cream i do not say so i pray you won't say so and as for an answer to my parents, you must go. And if they will consent, love, that I'm to be your bride, why I'm sure. So and if they will consent, love, that I'm to be your bride, why I'd marry you tomorrow, love, whatever will be tied. Mackie Bond was overjoyed 
at hearing the good news and to make him go the quicker he tied on his shoes and straight to our mama and the bargain was soon done Marky Bon, you are welcome this day to be my sons. Marky Bon is married now and lives at his ease. He comes as he wishes and goes as he please. And a young couple Twas never saw before than young Maki Bon and made all Bali more. Let's fix up the sheets here. Huh? Just for the record, that wasn't a mistake I made in that song. I was just making sure Pat was paying attention. All right, you might want to give me a little bit of a hand with this. I'm just okay. <clears throat> London's affair. Um, as I said, my granny, uh, we moved out to the Hill of Rat, um in 1982 when I was only three. And my grandmother lived across the field from where we had, dad had built the house. So... When we were probably maybe four, myself and my sister Jenny, we used to, every Saturday morning, we'd go across the field, which was really only a short stretch. We'd go across to Granny, and uh, she used to make her own rhubarb, and she, she'd teach us a song. So we'd, we'd arrive, and she'd teach us two lines of the song, and the, the, the bargain was that she'd call it. She didn't say it was a deal, it was a bargain. Um, if, you, if you knew your two lines of the song when you arrived next week you got your rhubarb and your custard and if you didn't learn your two lines of the song if you didn't know your two lines of the song you didn't get anything and she didn't break the rules so um i'm glad to be able to get through these songs i'm, I'm, I'm still eating the rhubarb and custard as you can probably see right uh this next song i'm going to do is another one of my grandmothers um it's called in london so far i haven't sang in a while so I've asked Pat to jump in if I'm needed, if he's needed. In London, so fair a lady she lived there, a lady of great beauty and great might. And unto this lady fair, I became a servant there. And in me she took great delight. This lady had a son of Merton Beauty born, and he became a sailor on the sea. And he courted a fair maid till he had her heart betrayed. And then he was bound for the sea. Oh, it happened one day in the cabin where they lay. And the tears from her eyes, they did flow. Saying, young man, you're going away. Far, far from me to stray. And to leave me on the shore for to mourn. And no, no, says he, such things could never be. For as long as I'm a sailor on the sea, the ship that I command, may she never reach dry land the day that I be false love unto thee. She cut off her yellow hair that hung down her back so fair. 
For fear that anybody might know. And then in the sailor's dress, that very night she went. And straight to the captain she did go. She bent and slim, complete in every limb. And the claws fitted tightly to her knee. As the crew did on her gaze, and the captain to her says, Young man, where you ever on the sea? And no, no, says she, I was never on the sea. But ship me as a fine sailor boat. For I know to choose to go where do stormy winds do blow to capture some silver and some gold. Oh, it happened one day in the cabin where they lay. And the tears from his eyes, they did flow. Saying, you're like a lover of mine. I think on many's the time. I left on the shore for to mourn. And no, no, says she, such things could never be. For as long as I'm a sailor on the sea, may the ship that I command, may she never reach the land. The day that I be false love unto thee. His own words he knew, she spoke beneath the crew. And into her arms he flew like a dove, saying, do not shed a tear, you followed me, my dear. And it's married, it's married we will be. They called for a clerk, they called for a maid. They call for a clergyman likewise. And this couple, they were wed, and together they do bed. And now they're living happy on the sea. Hope, hope that sounded okay. Um, what time are we at then? Uh, just what I'm getting me notes here. I think I have it here. Um, another thing my granny used to say, um, I don't have the words for it, I just have to have them. Um, another thing my granny used to say to myself and, and my sister Jenny and my other sister Stacy, um, we used to go down to our aunt shop when we were only kids. We thought she wrote these songs. We, we didn't realise there were songs that was collected by the family and by my great-grandfather. We thought she wrote them. We used to say to her, uh, oh, Granny, we just love your songs. And she used to say, they're not my songs, child. I only had them for safekeeping. And now I'm passing them on for you to look after them. So, uh, you know, maybe 40 or 35 years later, we're still singing them. So I think it's important, you know. Um, this next song I'm going to do is a song... Uh, called The Wild Rover, uh, probably not the version most people know. Um, it was a song that my uh, my great-grandfather uh, sang, and I learned it from a recording of my great-grandfather, so I'll give it a go. You know the words, what do you do? Uh, you know the words, what do you do? What time are you at? What time are you at? Right. Yeah. 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 I have been a wild rover for many years the year, and I spent all my money 
drinking ale and strong beers. But now for the future, I will take better care in case that misfortune might falter my share. While the rope and I'll give it all up. Wild rope and galore, and I never will be gone. Wild rope no more. I went into a nail house. I used to resort, and I told the landlady my money was short. When she heard of my story, to me she did say, I can have many customers like you any day. Oh, I'll drove and I'll give it over. Oh, I'll drove and give over. And I never will be gone. No, I'll drove no more. I put my hands in my pocket, some money to find, and I pulled out the of my two fists five times. When she saw I had the money and money galore, when she saw I had money, she called me her store. Says she, I have the liquor and that of the best. And the words that I've spoken were only in jest. Oh, I healed the rope and I'll Give it over, I'll drop and give over, and I never will be called. No, I'll drop no more. Had I all the money? I placed in your care. It would tell all my lands and my family rare. It would touch all my houses. It would build me a bar. It would buy me a coat for to keep my back warm. Oh, I'll drove and I'll give it over. Oh, I'll drove and give over. And I never will be called. No, I'll draw
Thank you so that's me, much. Don, that's me, Don Michael. Hope that was Thank okay. You. Oh my goodness. If you can just tell in the comments section, people are giving you a lot of love and appreciation. Thank you for those great songs from your family. And um, thanks very much. We, we look forward to hearing you again in the second half. Um, I'm going to mute you for now, for now Stuart. And, um, and for everybody else, we're going to take a five minute uh, break. Please stretch your legs, uh, stand up, get a drink of water, use the bathroom, whatever you need to do. I'll give you the ability to unmute yourself if you want to have some chatter, some banter, but just please keep in mind this is being live streamed to YouTube and to Facebook. Um, we'll be back in five minutes. and I'm also going to be sending some uh, private messages asking other singers uh, to kick off our second half here. So uh, please enjoy yourselves, everyone. I can't seem to remember how to unmute, to give you permission to unmute yourselves. Um, maybe if um, Shane with the Seamus Ennis Arts Center can figure that one out. Uh, you, have I it there. you have it, Michael. Yeah, we got it. It's turned on now. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Thanks, Shane. Yeah. Okay, all right. Hello. See you all in five, okay. everybody. Good. Well done. Well done. well done, Stuart. Brilliant. Can anyone hear me? Yes. yes. Can hear you. Can hear you. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fairies have been at my machine. <laughs> oh, Marianne. Oh, it's because oh. you sing all those songs about the Marianne. Oh, yeah, I must stop it. I must stop you it. keep inviting them in. I don't, <laughs> don't say that, that. That's too loud. We must whisper when they're around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Stuart, that was magic. Can I ask you about that version that you've done of the Wild Rover? It's 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 the same version I think that that Lancome have on their album, and it was originally yeah. an, an English kind of right, yeah. temperance song. Is that correct? Yeah, I t Ian, Ian Lynch has actually done a really really good podcast on on his uh, Fire yeah. Drawn Near podcast, and it's well worth listening to. It's fantastic. He's got so many versions of the song. And he, tra he has traced it all over the world. It's really worth a listen. I would have, I would have known, I would have been familiar with that version before I became familiar with the popular version. Obviously, listen to it at home, you know. It actually makes more sense, uh, the slower version, too. You yeah. Know, I, I, with, with the lyrics, actually, then, then a rowdy pub song. Uh, I was muted there. I was just saying uh, I really enjoyed your set. That was absolutely beautiful. You've just such a lovely voice. It was just um, just lovely. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's really very, great. That's very yes. kind. Thanks. Yeah, you're, someone, making, you're making me blush now. As someone who got a lot of my early songs from my parents, I am so blown away by the wealth of song that you got from your granny and, and I'm sure from your dad as well. It's just incredible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, in fairness, I've said it loads of times. It wasn't if it wasn't for Dad here beside me, I wouldn't be singing at all. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to sing tonight, Stuart? He is. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully yes, not. Look forward to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, he um he he was always uh I'd say mildly mildly encouraging me virgin on bullion. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you didn't sing, you didn't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> now we remember we good. remember the last time we were in that pub. I was the only one not Sorry, to win the, not to win the raffle. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, right, yeah. Yeah. My, my family were over from France. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. No, you the one you somebody won a picture, did they now? Yeah, everybody won a bath with me. <laughs> no, I, I think so one of Peter's people won a, a, a drawing. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. It was my yeah, family from France, enjoying yeah. Ireland. Yeah, success now. 
<laughs> How long ago was that, Ken? Oh, oh five years. Yeah. Uh, it was for my seventieth. Oh, so oh, three uh, years ago, about, was it? Uh, ten years ago. <laughs> no, <laughs> three years ago, I'd say. <laughs> Right, really I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> three years ago? About three years. <laughs> no, three, no, I think so, yeah. Three years ago, ten, so, yeah. <laughs> Not quite three years ago. We ended, we ended up, we ended up, it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, a, a birthday party, it was a weekend party. Yeah. We, had, we ended up in Dublin, it was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was lovely, and, and the session we had here in the Star was lovely. Oh, it was yeah, grand. Great, great, it was grand. Great, great pub. Yeah, you know, it's strange to see the pub so empty. Gad- gatherings, gatherings like that, yeah. gatherings like that are like a distant memory. Really. Yeah, well, ho- hopefully she, you'll, you'll be you'll have it packed again soon. Let's hope, let's hope. Mm. Yeah. Ah, please God, no, Keelan, I'm okay. Uh, Peter, I was asking you earlier what was that lovely song you were singing about uh, Mary with the with the rushes. I was oh, trying to look up the lyrics online, and I, I it the bonny bunch of rushes green. Sorry, say that again. The bonny bunch of rushes green. Thank you. I learned that from uh, Phil McDermott from Fermanagh, but there's many versions of it that you can find. It's quite a well-known one. Yeah, Jim uh, Jim McFarland also has a version. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> I might steal that one off you eventually. (laughs) Stuart, do you mind me asking you a question? Um, I have have absolutely no tradition in my family of, you know, people in my family who came before me who sang or I just kind of fell into this myself many years ago. The, The difference it must make to have to be able to sing a song that was passed on from family and from your grandmother. I mean, the emotion that must come with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, like when I'm singing and I know Dad does the same. Like I'd be picturing me Granny in my head, you know. Yeah. And and I didn't I didn't meet me me great granddad, but I've seen loads of photographs of him. So, you know, I think I think uh, Sean Falk or, or Jerry Cullen, one of the one of the local gang, told me that. There was a record of my great grandfather singing that song, The Wild Rover, in the late in the late eighteen hundreds. So it's you know, for me to be able to be singing it now in twenty twenty one, it's something and I know it's something that many singers will, will appreciate. I see I see Michal sitting there, you know, Michal's dad and, and granddad, you know, and to keep the songs alive. And I know there's loads of others there doing the same, keeping the songs alive. You know, because if we don't, they'll disappear, you know, that's the way I think. Absolutely not. But I mean, when I sing a song, if I get a chance to sing a song or when I sing a song, I mean, you, you get lost in a, in a certain picture or a certain. Of course, yeah. Graph. You live, but, you live. But, but to have that from your from your family and from your yeah. grandmother, it must be an incredible thing. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. You, 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 Connor, you're going to have to start the tradition now for, for your children yeah. and your grandchildren. Nobody in my family sings either, and but my father loved music, and there's always music in the house. Um, and um, his family is Irish, um, uh, and so often it was Irish music. But uh, you Lovely. know, you have to learn to do it yourself if it's not there. And there are times that all my nieces. Hi. Hello, Michal. Hi. Hello, Michal. Hi, Michal. Does your dad sing to you? Well, do I sing to you? Huh? Do I sing to you? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Are you expected to sing? All right, okay, come on. Just like a wee money, you. He is. He's a real mini me. Yeah. Oh, God, love him. <laughs> <laughs> the poor child. <laughs> You, you really make me wish that I'd listened to it. My nana was from Cross McGlenn, so it's only up the road from you a wee bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she used to sing all the time and her family would sing, you know, you would see them flat out on Facebook there. They would have we've um, Shan Hanrady and um Orrin Murphy and all are all my cousins, but you would oh. see them like all the time singing and I'm going, How are these people so talented? And you know, I wish I'd listened all the time to my nana. So you do right following the tradition because that's the way it should be. That's the way it's always been. It's never too late to start, right? I'm a granny now. I have to. It is indeed <laughs> never too late to start. And yeah. it's, it's not too late for us to start our second part of the singing. Okay. If we could get over the nerves. Uh, 
Shane, if you can, I guess I can mute everyone, can't I? So I'm going to mute you all, as, as beautiful as it is to hear this wonderful conversation about tradition. And um, we're going to get going to the second half. So I've lined up three singers to open the second part of our session. Uh, first will be Marianne for our, um, our uh, fourth attempt. So, um, but I believe it works now. So I'm going to ask to unmute you. You have to accept my unmuting and in your own time, please give us a song. Hello. Hello. Good to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hooray. 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 Okay. Um, I'm going to sing a song that you all know. Um, I learned this one from Paddy Tunney when he was doing Skull Eggshire in Listowel 40 years ago, actually. And uh, he told me this was one of the six best songs in the world. <laughs> It being in spring when the small birds were singing Down by yon shady arbor I carelessly did stray Where the thrushes they were warbling The violets were charming to hear fond lovers talking a while I did delay. She said, my dear, don't leave me for another season. If fortune does be pleasing, I'll go along with you. I'll forsake friends and relations. I'll quit this Irish nation. And to the body banks forever I'll bid adieu. He said, my dear, don't grieve me. Are yet an eye my patience? You know I love you dearly. The more I'm going away, I am going to a foreign nation to purchase a plantation to comfort us hereafter all in America and after a short while if fortune does be pleasing twill cause you far to smile at our late going away we'll be happy as queen victory all in her greatest glory we'll be drinking wine and porter all in america the landlords and their agents their books and their beagles the land of our forefathers we were forced to give o'er now we're sailing on the ocean for honor and promotion and parting with our sweethearts it's them we do adore if you're in your bed lying and thinking upon dying one sight of the bonny band banks your sorrow would give o'er and if you were just one hour down in yon shady bower 
pleasure would surround you, you'd think on death no more. So fare you well, sweet Craigie Hill, where often time I roved. I never thought my youthful days I'd part you any more. Now we're sailing on the ocean for honor and promotion, while the bonny boats are sailing. Down by Duran's shore. Shanae. <laughs> Just lovely. That was worth waiting for. Fourth time to charm. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne. Thank you. Lovely. For so. Um, a regular of these sessions. Um, Uh, for a song, so I'm going to ask to unmute you, Lainey, and in your own time, uh, please sing us a song or a dance or, or whatever you've got for us. Well, I haven't got my tap shoes on, so I'll go for a song. Um, that was beautiful, Marianne. That was well worth the wait. It was gorgeous. Um, it's amazing how you do a swear over the last minute at these things, depending on what other people are singing or doing. So... I've been swayed by the temperance, temperance version of Wild Rover, and I'm going to do a song called Johnny My Man, sometimes uh, Fear Ye Well Whiskey, sometimes called. Oh, Johnny My Man, do you know thing horizon? The day is well spent and the next coming on. Your silver. Oh, I'm too high. Hang on. Let's go back down. Oh, Johnny, my man, do you know thing horizon? The day is well spent and the next coming on. Your silver's again and the jail stoop is empty. Oh, rise up, my Johnny, and come aboard here. The bear knees at him are roaring and greeting. Nay, he'll fear the barrel to fill our wee wines. You sit there drinking and leave me lamenting. Oh, rise up, my Johnny, and come a walking. Was that at the door that's speaking so kindly? It's the voice of my own wife, her Maggie by name. Come here to me, lassie, and sit down beside me. Now rise up, my Johnny, and come a walking. Oh, Johnny, my man, do you mind o' oh, the courting? Nail who's a tavern there ran in your mind. We spent the long days met the sweet smell and roses. And there gied a thought to gone a walking. Oh, will they mind the times that you speak o? But the days are past and will ne'er come again. Just think on the present and we'll try for to mend it. So gies your hand, Maggie, and I'll walk in. When Johnny raised up, he banged the door open. 
saying, Cursed be the ill hoose that e'er let me in. And we take the whiskey that makes me I thirsty. So fare ye well, whiskey, and I'll awake. As I said, marvelous. Thank you. Thank you. So good to hear you. Thank you. You're very well, Michael. Um, I don't know whether you're breaking up or me. I'm going to mute you and Mr. Connor Lenahan. Uh, all right, <clears throat> I've muted you, Lainey. And now, Connor, I've, I'm going to ask to unmute you. You've had your hand raised the whole session. Thank you for your patience. Um, you were just having such a, a wonderful exchange with Stuart about singing, and I thought it'd be great to ask you to sing a song then. Thanks, Michael. Um, I appreciate that. And just really enjoying um, Stuart singing, not only Stuart singing, but everybody singing. Now, I, mean, I, I was just kind of thinking about it. Like, I mean, I don't have that history, and I, but I, you know, when we sing, you can see it here. We all have. Uh, emotion that, that goes into the song and it just must be magic to have something just passed down and passed down that you can have such photographs and images I suppose in your head as you're singing so thank you Stuart it was a pleasure and I'm looking forward to hearing you in the next bit and uh, you also mentioned about being put on to sing after Rita can I just say it's not great being put on to sing after Lainey either, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure what to sing either, but uh, Rebecca earlier on sang the shelves of her, um, one of my favourites, and for some reason put this song into my head, and I'm going to try this uh, song by William Delf. <clears throat> And it's three score and ten boys and men were lost from Grimsby town. From Yarmouth down to Scarborough, many hundreds more were drowned. The herring craft, their trawlers, their fishing smacks as well. Alone they fight the bitter night and battle with the swell. Methinks I see a host of craft spreading their sails a lee as down the humber they do steer bound for the great north sea methinks i see a wee small craft and crew with hearts so brave they go to earn their daily bread upon the restless waves and it's three score and ten boys and men were lost from Grimsby town. From Yarmouth down to Scarborough, many hundreds more were drowned. Their herring craft and their trawlers their fishing smacks as well. Alone they fight the bitter night and battle with the swell. Methinks I see them yet again as they leave this land behind. Casting their nets into the sea, the herring shows to find. 
Methinks I see them yet again, and they're safe on board. All right, with their sails close reefed, their decks washed clean, and side lights burning bright. And it's three score and ten boys and men were lost from Grimsby town. From Yarmouth down to Scarborough, many hundreds more were drowned. Their herring craft, their trawlers, their fishing smacks as well. Alone they fight the bitter night and battle with the swell. October's night brought such a sight t'was never seen before. There was yards of masts and broken spars washed up along the shore. There was many a heart of sorrow. There was many a heart of pain. Sorry. I'm about to be in there for a second. And it's three score and ten boys and men were lost from Grimsby town. From Yarmouth down to Scarborough, many hundreds more were drowned. Their herring craft, their trawlers, their fishing smacks as well. Alone they fight the bitter night and battle with the swell. Shine. Thank you, Connor. Good to hear you as always. Um, I am going to see if we can get another Connor, Mr. Connor O'Kane on, who appears to be outside by the fire. Connor, I've asked to unmute you. Yeah. You're like a regular Shanaki out there by the fire. Do, do, do you have a story or a song for us? Uh, I do. I wasn't sure what to do, and I'm going to go with the flow, as uh, seems to be happening tonight. Thanks, Connor, right. for singing that one. And I'll sing you another know, one about herons. Never sung this one for uh, a long time. But uh, we'll give it a blast. Lovely. This thing called a heron that came in with the tide. It was 40 feet long. It was 40 feet wide. And they called it the heron that came in with the tide. Take her away and don't delay. And one your leg, two your leg, three your leg, throw your leg. Over me, Johnny, says she. Now what do you think we made out of our size? But a grand big pair of blue butterflies. Oh, herons and eyes and blue butterflies. Ah, herons and heads rise up and make bread. Ah, take them away and don't delay. And one your leg, two your leg, three your legs, throw your leg over me, Johnny, says she. Ah, well, what do you think we made out of his head? Was the grandest big oven that ever big bread. Oh, herons and heads. Raise up and bake bread, oh herons and eyes and blue butterflies. Oh, take them away and don't delay. And one your leg, two your legs, three your legs, throw your leg over me, Johnny, says she. Well, what do you think we made out of his fins? 
But a lovely box of needles and pins for herons and heads, raise up and bake bread. Ah, oh, herons and dyes and blue butterflies. Ah, oh, herons and pins. Ah, oh, needles and pins. I oh, take them away and don't delay. And one your leg, two your leg, three your leg, throw your leg over. Which Johnny says she. Well, what do you think we made out of his back? But a lovely wee sailor, and we christened him Jack. Ah, oh, herons and backs, and sailors called Jack. Ah, oh, herons and pens, and needles and pens. Ah, oh, herons and eyes, and blue butterflies, and heads raise them away, and don't delay. And one your leg, two your legs, three your leg, throw your leg over me, Johnny says she. Well, what do you think we made out of its belly? But a lovely wee lass, and we christened her Nelly. Ah, herons and bellies, and girls called Nelly, and herons and backs, and the sailor called Jack. Ah, herons and pins, ah, needles and pins. Ah, oh, herons and dyes and blue butterflies. Ah, oh, herons and heads, raise up and bake bread. Now take them away and don't delay. And one year leg, two year leg, three year leg, throw your leg over me, Johnny, says she. Now what do you think we made out of his tail? It was the grandest big ship boys that ever set sail. Ah, oh, herons and tail, and ship set and sail, and herons and bellies, and girls called Nelly, and herons and backs, and sailors called Jack, and herons and pins, and needles and pins, ah, oh, herons and eyes, ah, oh, blue butterflies, ah, oh, herons and heads, raise up and bake bread, take them away and don't delay. And one year leg, two year leg, three year leg, throw your leg over, be Johnny, says she. This thing called a heron came in with the tide. She was forty foot long, she was forty foot wide. And they call her a heron, came in with the tide. Take it away and don't delay. One year leg, two year leg, three year leg, throw your leg over. Johnny says she. Woo! Thank you, Connor. <laughs> what a pleasure. Where did you get that just, song anyway? That was, uh, I, I heard that one grow up now from an old cassette my dad had as a Dubliner's Ronnie mm. Drew singing. And uh, mm. now, I'll be honest with you, before I heard the cassette, I heard my dad singing it because we didn't have a cassette player in the car. So when he would drive us back, he would sing to us the whole way. So he knew the songs from the Dubliners. He sang them to us. We got them from him. Years later, whenever we got a car with a cassette player, we actually heard the originals. But wow. that's, uh, that's yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. And, and, can, and can, can you see the moon out there, Connor? I, 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 how long is it? There's, no, it's just a cloudy, cloudy for the first time in a few, in about a week. So no, there's uh, no stars, no moon, but there's lambs okay. on the hill and a fire truck. All track right. On, so. <laughs> well, it's always great to hear you, Connor. Thank you for your singing. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna mute you, and we're gonna have one more singer before. Oh, there's a siren outside. Uh, they're coming for your fire, Connor. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have one more singer before we uh, hear Stuart once more, and I'm gonna ask um, Miss Annie Hughes of Blanchardstown, if you'd please sing us a song, Annie. I've asked to unmute you, you have to accept my unmuting. Hello. Hey. Hey, hey. yeah, I thought that siren was from my entrance, no? Oh, uh, it, was, it was the siren call. Uh, please sing the <laughs> song whenever you're ready. Yeah, uh, thanks for asking me. It's a uh, smashing night, delighted to hear everyone and uh, deadly stuff from Stuart, of course. I'll do Courtoisia Nua and I'll get a bit closer because I, I think I need to be a bit quiet. It's getting late. Right. 
Gorgeous, gorgeous singing. Thank you so much. Great to hear you. Okay, folks, we will now get to hear um, Stuart for his, sec his second set. Um, I've asked to unmute you now, Stuart, and uh, the floor is yours, um, whatever you'd like. <coughs> we would all love to hear you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Lovely singing there, some lovely singing there from the guys. Um, <clears throat> I've I done a few of the family songs in the first set, and I'm going to do um, a couple of songs now that um, I would have got from meeting people. 
at different sessions. And they're also very good to, different people are very good to write down the, the words of songs and, and maybe record themselves singing them and sending them on to me. So it was lovely. So this first song I'm going to do is actually a song that was given to me by, um, it's a Frank Hart song. And uh, my, my granny and Frank Hart actually played at Fail in a Boyne a couple of times. And my granny, Frank invited granny up to Slattery's at Capel Street 100 years ago. And uh, I think she wrote down one or two songs from. Uh, but this is a Frank Hart song. It's called The Isle of St. Helena. Keelan, can you turn that down, Pat? And uh, <clears throat> I actually got it from a very good local friend, Noel Bailey. So I'm going to sing it for Noel. <clears throat> <clears throat> now bone is away from his war and fighting he has gone to a place where there's not candy light him he may sit there and dwell on the glories he has seen, oh, while for long he will mourn on the Isle of St. Helena. No more in St. Cloud will he appear in great splendor, nor come forth from the crowd like the great Alexander. He may look towards the east while he thinks upon the canna. But his heart is full of woe on the Isle of St. Helena. Now the wild rushing waves on the shores they are washing and the white billows heave on the rocks they are crashing. He may look o'er the lake from the great Mount Diana, but his eyes are on the waves that surround Saint Helena. Oh, Louisa, she weeps for her husband departed. And she dreams while she sleeps and awakes broken hearted. Not a friend to console her. In the past, there were many. Now alone, she does mourn. When she thinks of Saint Helena, oh, you that have great wealth, then be where of ambition, for with one shift of fate could soon change your condition. And be steadfast in time. What's to come, change you cannot. Maybe your race will end on the Isle of St. Helena. Oh, you parliaments of England. 
and new holy alliance on a prisoner of war you can now our defiance with all your base and tree you never could demean him but you exiled him to die on the Isle of St. Helena. Now born is away from his war and fighting. He has gone to a place where there's not can delight him. He may sit there and dwell on the glories he has seen, oh, while forlorn he will mourn. On the Isle of Saint Helena. As Noel would say, something like that. Um when I when I first started doing a few doing a, doing a few songs and going to a few singing sessions and going to different festivals um, the, the best part I found about it was uh, learning new songs because uh, you know there were so many songs that I hadn't heard and I used to always say to dad oh my god did you hear that song that Jerry Riley sang or did you hear that song that Ken Hall had sang or whoever it was and dad would say Oh, sure, you know that song, you know that song. And I and I didn't know them, and it was lovely picking up songs. And I'd, I'd come back from different festivals, and I'd be so delighted with myself to write a new song. So. But as time went on, I uh, the best thing about going to festivals was the friends that we made. And uh, we made some really, really, really good friends. And uh, this next song I'm going to sing was probably given to me from one of the best friends I ever made at any of the festivals. And it's a song called Kevin Mountain. And um, I first heard it at two o'clock in the morning, I think, in the Ballyliffin Hotel. And it was sang by uh, Michael Quinn and his son, Michal. And they sang it together. And the, I hope Michal doesn't mind me saying these. Uh, Michael would hold Michal's hand. And different cons different festivals we met up since, myself and, and Michal would hold hands and we'd sing it together. So I'm going to sing this song for Michael and Michal and all the... Quinn family and I hope I hope I get through it. Michal, you're gonna to have to sing in the background now. I've got to put my glasses on the case I forget the words. <clears throat> <clears throat> um um, listen to my story, and I will tell you now. I was reared up on the mountain, close to the calf and cow. It was there I spent my childhood. Those days I did enjoy at the foot of Cow and Mountain, where I rambled as a boy at the school in Carnegie. I spent many a gloomy day. And I watched the clock come lunchtime when we did out to play. And when our day was ended, those hills I'd climb on high to see my cow and mountain. Where I rambled 
Bye. There's a cave up in your heather where the bobby bandu dwells, and he often quenched his thirst in the spring at Bacon's well. I know, cause the Frank told me, and he never told me a lie. And we roam around cow and mountains, the old man and the boy. I stood and sleep in the gap, the sun was in the west, so beauty all around me, Malabam there at its best, and I taught of friends I played with. Beneath the foreign sky, who long for cow and mountain, where I rambled as a boy. Now I'm getting old and grey, but you they're just the same. With your lovely purple heather, that was always full of game. And your spelling over Brocky, for oft times the fox did lie. Oh, my lovely cow and mountain. I will love you till I die. Sleeve Gullion stands beside you like a father with his son. And the sun slips down behind you when the harvest day is done. And when my days are ended, and my soul sets out them high, I go round cow and mountain as I did as a boy. Michael Nedquin. Nice. <laughs> this next song I'm going to do is a, is a song that was given to me by a, one of our local, a local hero, I have to call him, um, Jerry Cullen uh, of the Voice Squad fame. But it was just Jerry to us. He was... He was a great he was a great friend and a great friend of dad's and a great friend of mine and um i never came across anybody who was so supportive and so uh generous with his time with his songs with his help and always encouraged me always a little text message always a little phone call and i really thanked him from that uh, if not just Jerry, but all the gang from Gary. So I'm going to sing this song. It's called a song called uh, Jamie Fires. Um, I'm going to try and give it a go. <clears throat> far distant, far distant Lies fires the brave No tombstone memorial Shall hallow his grave, for his bones they lie scattered on the roadside of Spain, 
and your Jamie for years in battle once I might just come up with a small bit of oh. he, he walked on the shipyard that stands on the glide. His hammer lies idle, his tools laid aside. To the wide abroad river, young fires has gained. To fight by the side of the people of Spain. He there none was his equal at work or at play. He was strong in the union till his dying day. He was grand at the football, at the dance he was brave. I, young Jamie Foyles, was the flower of the he came home from the shipyard, took off his working clays. Oh, I mind that time well on the long summer days. He said, Tink Nailang Lassie, I'll come back again. Ah, but young Jamie Foyers in battle was slain. At the fight for Belgita, he was there at the fall. He fought at Gandesa till he could fight no more. For he lay on his machine gun. With the bullet through his brain, ah, young Jamie Foyers in battle was slain, far distant, far distant. Lies fires the brain, no tombstone memorial shall hallow his praise, for his bones they lie scattered on the roots of hallows. Spain and young Jamie Foyers in battle was slain. That was powerful. That was brilliant. Um, What's your last one? Um, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, the last song I'm going to do, I think, is uh, probably somebody asked me recently um, 
was I always did I always sing and did I, was I always in love with traditional Irish music and I said to them no probably not when I was younger when I was a child I was fascinated by songs and singing but then when you got to your uh, to your teenage years you, you're not going to go into school and, and tell lads that you're listening to you know uh, Dolores Kane and you know whoever whoever happens to be Sean Kane and but uh, I remember uh, long before there was mobile phones or anything like that I remember being at home one day it was a Friday evening and I was only about 15 and uh, dad rang the house from from uh, from work and he said to me, he rang the house and, and my mother answered and she put me on the phone and he said um, there's Lou Kelly tribute on the late show tonight he said now me and you me and you we have to watch that and I was like okay no problem no problem and I had already arranged to go out to the teenage disco with my friends so I was completely polar opposite to other teenagers who, who would tell their mom and dad that they were going to stay in their friend's house and get the friend's parent to ring and say, oh, yeah, he's staying here and sneak off into the disco. I got my mother to ring my friend's mother to say, it's just not feeling well, so we can't go out tonight. So <laughs> the song that probably made me fall in traditional Irish music all over again was a song called uh, I Must Away Now and I'm going to give it a go. <clears throat> I must away now I can no longer tell me This morning's tempest I have to cross I must be guided without a stumble into the arms I love the most. And when he came to his true love dwelling. He knelt down gently upon a stone and through her window he whispered softly is my true lover within the door? Wake up, wake up, love. It is thy known true love. Wake up, wake up, love, and let me in, for I am tired, love, and oh so weary, and more than me. Onto the skin, she's raised her head up, her down soft pillow. She's raised her head up, and she's let him in. And each other's arms until that long night was past and gone and when that long night was past and over 
And when the small clouds began to grow, he's taken her hand and they've kissed and parted. Then he saddled and mounted and where did it go? I must away now. I can no longer tarry. This morning's tempest I have to cross. I must be guided without a stumble into the arms I love the most. Oh, my goodness, Stuart. Absolutely. Good among it. That was beautiful. I have goosebumps. Thank you. And a and a shout out to you. Is that is that your father we hear singing with you in the background? Yeah, he's singing with me since I was about two. Well, if he wants to say hi, he's welcome to come on camera, but there's no pressure at all. Go on, do a song. Do, do a song. Go on. Give us a song. Uh, Oh yeah, can you can you unmute on mic, uh, Michael? Oh, his his one. Do you want to do? do you want him to do a song there? Please. Oh, he's, no. he's 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 it's Kaylin Nugent. It's 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 the name on his little screen is Kaylin Nugent. Okay, let, let, let me find Kaylin then. All right, you. I'm gonna ask. No, I'll throw my mind. I ask to unmute you, and then you have to accept the unmuting. Now I'm gonna mute you, Stuart. Yeah. Okay. Are you all right? Am I on? Say hello to everybody. Yeah? Hello, everybody. Does everybody hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Yeah. We can hear you. Well, we can hear you. You yeah, sound okay. great. Um, well, you can tell me now when I finish this if I'm great or not. I'll try one of my mother's songs. Um, I hope I don't let him down now. He was saying he was embarrassed to sing after Barita. Barita. I'm embarrassed to sing after him now. <coughs> um, I'll try one of my mothers. It's called um, Comedy Caravan. Yeah, I'll try this one. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> on on a on a summer day in the month of May, as brightly shone the sun. Down on the bank of daisies, there sat a lovely one. She did appear like Venus, and her dark brown hair did shine. That shades the neck. And her bosom fair of comely Caroline. Her lips were like all oh, the cordial red, her breath the sweet perfume. Her eyes like diamonds in her head. And our cheeks like the rose in bloom. She sang a song most melodiously, which pierced this heart of mine while listening to how that a melody of comely Carl's line. And then I said unto this fair young maid, 
do you remember me? For I'm your jolly sailor boy that plows the deep blue sea. For the courting of this fair young maid, my parents did deny. And they sent me away to a man of war far, far from Caroline. For six long years, then I once sent all for to serve the king. Where the rattling, roaring cannons they did make of the deep blue sing with gold in store and ten times more away from me she drew stand back stand back young man she said until you tell me true Produce for me a ring of gold, likewise those locks of mine. For there's no other man will e'er join hands with comely Caroline. Well, a ring of gold. And a lock of hair, young William then did show unto a place of worship. This couple they then did go unto a lofty mansion where the gold and the silver shine. And he blessed the day in the month of May that he met young Caroline. And he blessed the day in the month of May that he met young Caroline. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Good man. Thank you so much. Well, folks, um, let's give it up one more time for Mr. Stuart Carolyn and also his father. I'm going to pin you, Stuart, so we can all see you. Thank you so much for your singing tonight. That was absolutely gorgeous. So many lovely comments coming in. And um, I've asked to follow that up. Um, uh, Stuart mentioned um, Michal Quinn's father, and I I've asked if uh, Michal and Benary would, um, would sing for us to close out the night. So uh, I'm going to, I have to change my view here so I can find you. Uh, I'm gonna have to unmute you, Michal and uh, Benary. And if you'd like to respond and share songs, we'd love to hear from you. Can you hear us, Michael? Loud and clear, sir. Okay, thanks very much. Just, I want to thank Stuart for singing my dad's song. I don't know if you can see that photograph. It's not great. Man. I don't know if it's possible to see it there, but Stuart took this photograph whenever um, we were in Inishon. Me and Dad were in Inishon. I, as Stuart said, about two o'clock in the morning, and he took that. He was sitting further up. We didn't know the photograph was being taken, but we were. I was singing Power Mountain. 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 And. Um, I'm getting an echo there, but um, so Stuart had me crying there like a baby, I have to say, to be honest. So thanks again, Stuart, for that. So in the in the theme of the, the night, I'm going to sing one of my granda's songs that uh, that I but I would have learned it from my dad in fairness. So, I think Stuart sings it. Me and Stuart have sung this together as well. You know I am a stranger. So. Um, you know I am a stranger. Last 
night I came from home. I came from a place called Thomas Town, a place where I'm well known. I came from a place called Thomas Town, my darling girl to see. So, Mary dear, don't slight your love, rise up and come with me. She says you are a rover, on you I can depend. You would often times deceive me and seldom prove my friend. I'll stay here with my parents, take them to be my guide. Go seek some other fair young maid, for I ne'er will be your bride. Oh, Mary dear, I love you, and that right well you know. It was your cruel parents that caused my overthrow. It was your cruel parents swore vengeance against me and make me plant my garden in a strange country. She says I am of a noble birth, and you're of a low degree. But I'm of the seed of Adam, my dear, as well as thee. It's true you have got riches and lots of worldly store. I have bought what the Lord allows, and I can have nothing more. Search the book of Alexander, and a verse there you will find. For you're not to place your eyes on gold or any earthly kind. For when he had the whole world won, he sat down and wept full sore, because there was but the one world, and he could gain no more. I will go now to Mount Nebo, where Moses viewed the land. From there unto Mount Ararat, where Noah's ark does stand. And I'll never quit my rambling while I'm fit to wear a shoe. And Mary dear, while life remains, I will always mourn for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness thank you miho uh, did you just say that you didn't want to sing bennering or that you did 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I'm going to sing a little funny one for for. Oh, time. great. Well, we'll end on a end on a funny note then. If you want to sing us out. Right, and 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 before we do, I'll, we'll just give a quick moment to say thank you to the Seamus Ennis Arts Center. They're posting in the chat a link if you'd like to donate to them. And um, that's all, folks. So yeah, if you're welcome, you're welcome to sing us out, Benary, or, or however you'd like to do it. Thank you. Okay, just we short. <clears throat> Well, when I was young and fond of fun, like Manny's a dash and blade, twas my delight, both day and night, to court a handsome maid. With her I'd walk, with her I'd talk, like thousands done before. But at little I knew she'd prove I'm through, young Kate from Balnamore. Twas her father, Frank, that I may thank for being in this state. Although I was poor, I couldn't endure to court his daughter Kate. I went to Kate and to relate her sorrows to implore. As what'll I do but follow you, young Kate from Balnamore? Well, she said, my dear and dearest, I'd like to be a soldier's wife, like a true and faithful comrade, fighting by your side. So I went away, and without delay, and I joined the 44. But now today I'm miles away from Cape, from Balnamore. Well, it been six months and after a letter I received. I thought it was for comfort, but my poor heart was grieved. The first few lines of it I read, it was cruel or and or. She's going to be married to a farmer's son from the town of Balnamore. So come on, you gay and dashing lads, take a warning on from me. Don't put too much confidence in any way, lass, you see. They'll tell you this and they'll tell you that and they'll do as they done before. And they'll curl their hair and leave you there, like it from Balnamore. Well done. Oh, <laughs> lovely stuff. Thank you so much, Julio and Benary. And thank you again to Stuart, Carolyn, and Pat, his father. Thank you for your singing. Um, just a beautiful night. And of course, thank you to the, to the Seamus Ennis Arts Center. It's been a great night. Thank you all so much. Ihua, August Slan. Take care. Folks, I'm going to unmute you all if you want to say hello or good night, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck and mind yourselves. Thanks so much, everybody. It was a real pleasure to sing with you tonight, even though it was a nervous Thank you very much. Brilliant, Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Thank you, everyone, for a lovely night. Bye, Michael. Bye. Bye. That was lovely, Benry. Bye. 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 Bye.